Welcome back to Media Trainer Pro, the podcast that turns you into a media communication expert. I'm Jake Sen, and today we're tackling an essential skill for anyone stepping into the media spotlight, crafting sound bites, those punchy, memorable phrases that can make your message viral for all the right reasons. In today's fast-paced media environment, sound bites are more than just catchy phrases. They're strategic tools. They can encapsulate your message, making it more digestible, memorable, and shareable. But how do you create a soundbite that resonates and sticks with your audience? Let's dive in. Soundbites are not just any quotes. They're the essence of your message boiled down to its most impactful form. They're designed to be concise, striking, and memorable. Think of them as the headline of your story, the takeaway you want your audience to remember and repeat. Crafting an effective soundbite involves a blend of content, clarity, and charisma. Content. When it comes to content, it must carry the core of your message, presenting it in a way that highlights its importance or relevance. When it comes to clarity, it must be easily understood, avoiding jargon or complexity. And then there's charisma. It should have an emotional, humorous, or surprising element that makes it memorable. The Soundbite Formula There's an art to creating soundbites. Let's break it down into a formula you can apply. Number one, start with your core message. What is the single most important thing you want your audience to remember? Simplify. Distill this message into one sentence, then make it shorter. 2. Add a twist. Use rhetorical devices like metaphors, analogies, three-part lists, or unexpected contrasts to make your soundbite stand out. 3. Emotion or humor. Injecting a touch of emotion or humor can make your soundbite more relatable and memorable. 4. Practice. The best soundbites often seem spontaneous, but they're usually the result of careful crafting and rehearsal. Soundbite do's and don'ts. To ensure your soundbites hit the mark, here are some do's and don'ts. Do be authentic. Your soundbite should reflect you or your organization's values and personality. Don't force it. If a soundbite doesn't feel natural, it won't resonate. Do tailor soundbites for different platforms. A soundbite for a TV interview might differ from one for social media. Don't you overuse jargon or cliches. Keep it fresh and accessible. Let's put theory into practice. I'll share a message and then craft a soundbite from it. Well, here's an example message. Our company is launching an innovative product that will revolutionize the way people work from home. Here's this as a crafted soundbite. Say goodbye to Office Blues. Our next gen home solution is turning work from anywhere into a dream reality. Notice how the soundbite condenses the message adds a creative twist, and includes an emotional appeal. That is the sweet spot. Crafting effective sound bites is a skill that can significantly amplify your media presence. Remember, the goal is to make your message stick, inspire action, and encourage sharing. Whether you're addressing the press, speaking at a conference, or posting on social media, a well-crafted soundbite can make all the difference. Thanks for tuning in to Media Trainer Pro. I'm Jake Sen, and I hope today's episode inspires you to craft sound bites that resonate and reverberate far and wide. Join us next time for more insights into mastering media communications. Until then, keep your messages sharp and your sound bites sharper.